Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with Fishing Sim World, and we're here with a new DLC for Lake Dillon. Now, I have come in here and tried a little bit of fishing. My initial uh, search around the, the basic lake of this end, which is, uh, it doesn't exactly have a name here that I can come up with, but we're going to start here again. Uh, I discovered that there was a lot of species at this little island over here and so much so that it, I was catching some pretty big fish. I went ahead and hit record which is not something I normally do especially when I've just got a giving it a once over but my god it was just so good that I had I couldn't help it but we'll start that in a little bit later but let's go ahead and get this boarded. Doesn't take too long to get over there they just introduced this probably about a month ago and I could have started it then but unfortunately you guys know what happened with my computer issue alright we're going to go ahead and pull up here now when I was started the last time I was just past this white house that you see over there there's a bunch of docks Unfortunately, you can't stop the boat there, which is something I wish you could do. But neither here nor there. We're going to stop right here. This is the spot that I have been fishing last time, and we're going to go ahead and fit, switch to fishing. But anyway, check out this next portion of the video. This is actually from a couple of days ago. All right, guys. I do not know what this is. I was just fishing to fish here, but... I'm at this new lake, Lake Dillon, and I have been fighting whatever this is I've caught. And he is gaining no matter what I do here. This is a big fish. Yeah, I was just catching a variety of species here off this island. And I would definitely suggest if you get this particular DLC to fish off this island because there's a lot... A variety here but I am so curious to see what this is yeah I hadn't officially started to record for an episode I was just trying to test some things out and after fighting this guy for a while I started to think uh, something special about oh my god I think we've got us a monster here Wouldn't it be cool if we get a trophy pike or musky? Yeah, I've been. He went way out there for a long, long time. So this is the first chance I've got to see what he even is. But yeah, I've caught smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, bluegill, perch, muskie, and walleye. Just in this little area right here. And I've done so in just probably under 15 minutes. It's a great spot. I'm sure there are other good spots, but this is the best I've found so far since I've messed around in this. Let's see, here we go. Holy crap, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. He's still not a trophy, though. Big fish, though. That's a northern pike. Yeah, I guess they have to be over 40 pounds before they're considered to be a trophy. Still very impressive. But yeah, let me show you real quick on here the map, guys. Let's see here. See, we're right. If you get off right here and come over to this Porter's Retreat Island, I have found all kinds of species. And I haven't even explored the rest of this yet. This seems like a really good lake. This Lunker Bay is another one I'd like to check out. 
but it seems like I always have a lot of luck around like these little channels between islands like right here where I'm at now if there's lily pads or reeds around which is what this has seems like there's a lot of activity you can see on the fish finder there's quite a few down there but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my first episode just so you guys can see and because seems like a lot of times when I'm recording nothing happens ah you kidding me this is something small, but still, you can get to see some of the variety we got here. There's a perch. Caught a few of those already. And they seem to really hover right around this area. The only thing I wish you could do, there are docks all around this. I wish you could moor your boat there and do, then do some bottom fishing off. But they won't let you do that on this lake. I think that's the only thing I would say we should be allowed to do. That's better. I think we might have us another perch, but it's hard to tell. It could be a bass. No, it's a bass. No, it's not neither one. It's a crappie personal best too I haven't caught too many black crappie but yeah there's yet another species like I said there are all kinds of them over here and you know if you want to try to catch them all this is good spot you know real good place to start but I'm going to go ahead and try to catch one more and I think we'll go on. Yeah, the bait I'm using, guys, I'm using this jerkalistic swim bait. I know it's a larger bait, but I tell you, honest to God, I've caught everything off of this, including bluegill. <laughs> everything. And it was a big bluegill. It was about two pounds. So this, this lure is awesome. It comes with a hunter's pack. So I have, haven't tried any of the others yet. I might have to just to, you know, see what happens, but... That's just a matter of switching the rod. Let's just give this a try. See if that does anything. If we get anything different. If we get anything. This is the tremor shad. I believe it shakes underwater so it makes a noise like a fish in trouble. Yeah, right over here. And it doesn't matter how close it gets to the boat. I've caught a couple of them when it's literally just about to be pulled into the boat. There we go. Another perfect strike. And he's going to go back behind me there. This I'll be darn another crappie. Quite a few crappie over here. Reach level 25. There you go. Nice. Nice way to end that. Alright. He wasn't huge, but he took me to a certain level. Well, we're going to go ahead and get to the main part of the video. But anyway, I thought I'd throw that in. Alright, not too bad, huh guys? <laughs> I swear. And I'm already seeing some big fish swimming around here. This, I don't know what it is about this place, but let's see if we can, okay, we may need to turn the boat back a little bit here. 
It's kind of positioned weird. So let's go ahead. That's better. Yeah, if you don't have it positioned just right, you can't cast. But as you saw from there, we want to cast it this direction. Now I'm using my Tremor Shad because that's what was on here last. Might go back to the Jerkalistic since it did so well, but I have caught so far all but three of the species out of here. And I did it in just under an hour. Lots of largemouth bass here. Lots of largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. And the pike are monsters. We even managed to pull in an albino pike. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch over to the jerkalistic just because this one seems to be the favored for the pike. The tremor shed the bass really like. But the bass will go for this one too. Ah, poor strike. I got it. But yeah, it seems like about everything. I think we got it. Yeah, we got us a pike. See what I mean, guys? But yeah, I pulled a pike out of here and cut no more than one pike. Just in this location, a couple of pike. And he's big too. Check him out. And a really good size walleye. I wasn't able to catch that on the video, but Jeez. Yeah, he's a big one. He's a big one. And like I said, this is just one end of the lake. I haven't even checked the other two teleportation places. And believe me, I am going to. I usually call them pegs. So that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it the South Peg. Oh, good God, this guy is big. It's like a torpedo. <laughs> Yeah, if you get a large mouth bass or small mouth bass, you'll know right away. They've changed some of the animations, so these guys really make a show. I mean, they jump and they flip out of the water and all kinds of stuff. And the pike, they're what I call the cruisers. <laughs> they just slink around like a, like a shark or something. But they don't have to extend, well, you know, they just know they're big and strong. Wow, this guy is a monster. I don't know if he's the biggest I've gotten yet, but I have yet to get a trophy out of here. Or actually, I have yet to get a trophy pike out of anything so far. I've been trying. Got some big ones. But no trophies yet. I don't know what qualifies as a trophy, but that's got to be a big fish.
All right, guys. I think we got him finally. Jeez. Whoa. He fills the whole screen up. That's a trophy. I got one. Yes. Finally, 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 guys. There's our. There's my trophy. There's my trophy. That is one big fish. 60.45 inches. He is a monster. Yeah, they don't have the names on this one. Some of the other lakes, they actually give them names. I wish they gave them names. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, there he is. Well, guys, that was my trophy. I i mean, I could quit now. I'd be happy at this point. But <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that was a monster. That was a monster. But we're going to see what we can do. We might go out a little farther. See if we can't get us a walleye. Haven't seen any long-nosed gar. Tiger musky. And white crappie. Those are the three I'm still missing. What is this with me and four strikes? I'm not that bad of a... <laughs> What's the deal? Okay, I think we got us a bass. Small one. So this shouldn't be too much of a fight. Come on. They do give you a fight, despite their size. Yeah, it's a smallmouth. Alright, let's try over here. Maybe we can get something different. to make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom. We definitely have fish down there. <laughs> Big ones too. There, that's better. That's better. This poor strike bull crap, but this is a bass. See how they flip right out of the water like that? And even though He's nowhere near as big as that other fish was. He can get that line pretty taut, quick. So you might want to take the tension down until he weakens down a little bit. Holy crap. Scrappy little guy, come on. There we go. <laughs> I'll tell you, they definitely will give you a fight. He's a trophy. He's not too little. Well, I tell you, I really want a walleye so bad. I'd love for you guys to see another walleye. Seems like with the long nose, we have to get out little bit deeper water they go on the surface but they don't seem to be in close to shore very much and that's actually true in real life that's what they do well, at least that's a good strike I think we got us a little perch here no it's a bluegill <laughs> yep got us a little bluegill off that big lure, too. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I, they're some good size bluegill, though. You aren't going to get a little bluegill off this. Yeah, I think I might try casting it out that way. Let me see here. All I can tell you is I know they're walleye here. It's just a matter of 
getting one interested. But as you can see, I pull one in almost every cast. I can't tell if that's a bass or not, but I don't think it is. This might be a walleye. Nah, it's a bass. It's a bass. Yeah, usually they jump a lot more often than that. He just waited a little while. There we go. I don't think he, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's a monster. I think what we're going to do, we're going to jump in our boat here. I think what we're going to do is, we're going to head over here. To the other side here, because I was getting a lot of them around here too. As you can see, there's all kinds of reeds alongside this island. That's the hot spots. Now let me get out here too. We're going to throw it towards those reeds and we'll see just what we got around there. Now last time I was on this side, I saw them just literally swimming right up to the boat. Big old pike. I'm looking on like there's as many of them down here this time. But fish move. I mean, you know, if, if nothing comes of it this time, we'll go ahead and move around to the other side of the island. Yeah, it looks like they've moved on. Let's go ahead and go closer here. I was getting all kinds of them there last time, but then maybe I'm, oh, I might not have gone for them. There's a big one on me now. Yeah, I think maybe I didn't go far enough. Oh, I definitely didn't go far enough. <laughs> okay, looks like you gotta go to here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just gotta come up with our landmark. But see, there's reeds right over there, too. That's, But there's like an embankment of some kind over there, too. That's something I didn't remember from last time. I won't forget that. Yeah, this is it. Sorry about that, guys. I guess I was a little premature on that. God, it's got to be a bass. Short burst of speed. Yeah, it's a bass. They really show, you know, they put on a show now. They really do. What I like to do is let them get there and kind of pull up a little bit and see if I can't make them jump out of the water. There we go, we got him.
Yeah, I think we're gonna have the. This is gonna have to be the last one because I think we're getting a little bit long in the this episode. If we end up getting a pike, we're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> And we did get something. See what I mean by how often they bite? I mean, seriously. This is a great grinding place, I'll tell you. I think we do have a spike. Yeah, it's a pike. Or a muskie. They, when they do that cruising thing and they just kind of meander around, you know it. Alright, I think we'll get a good look at him here in a second. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> He's down deep, so I can't really see him very well. See, he's like, okay, now nah, we're getting good, okay. He's not too big. That might be a gar. He's a little skinny. I'll tell here in a second. No. And get a good enough look at him. Nah, he's just a little guy. He's a real pale too. He's not albino, but yeah, I've caught I've, one time. I caught a really white musculange. That was odd looking. Well, anyway, guys, that's my first look for you guys. At Lake Dillon, we are going to be probably fishing here quite a bit. This is a great spot to get some cash and XP, and you will not be bored. Just kind of stick to these spots, and you will do very well. See, there's all kinds of big fish over here. I don't know what it is. It's just like the collecting collecting area or gathering area or whatever you want to call it. But as you can see, it is just constant, ongoing bites. Well, anyway, guys, this is probably going to take me a little while, but please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Lake Dillon DLC. And as I always say, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.